The Target Series took a race off, but now we are back at Iowa for the Nike 300 back on the short track racing in the Target Series. On the pulse, the 51 of Steve Larker, two's outside is the 74 of William Bolin. Then 30 of Gustavo Rocha, fourth is Andrew Miller. Rang out the top five, you have Jake Galloway. Then 60 of Michael Sanders. Seventh is Lawrence Palampon. Then eighth, there's Isaac Nichols. Ninth is Riley Spurley Tube. And Jay Jefferson rounds out the top 10. The rest of the field is Danny Lloyd in the 21 with Johnny Gardner in the 89. Then there's Alexander Rowe and TJ Hanley. They have Colton Young, Anthony Lehman, Justin Knight, and Diego Yepes. They have William Seaman and Alex Stewart. Charles Robert and Landon Lyons. They have Michael Cantone and Matt Hamill. Jonathan Buford, your points leader, and Bill Seaman in the 98. Then there's Max Anderson, Eli Bright, Jennifer Buford, and Jeff Bright. They have Adam McDowell and Trey Rainey. Then there's Greg Lee and Code Luigi, Carson Bowers and Clayton Thomas. They have Stephen Baker and Luke Rainey, Sebastian Kukulon and Marshall Burrow. And in the final row, you have Joey Trickle in the 25, Jonathan Wong in the 48 twos outside lane. For your 42 card starting lineup here at Iowa, let's go down to the track side and get this thing started. In honor of the Highway Patrol 75 years of service, gentlemen, start your engines. Guys, go out there and have some fun today. Just like I said, today in the meeting, you know, this is a good racetrack. It's a good place for us. I think the picture is ready to go. Let's go have some fun. The 7 8 mile short track in Iowa. About to get set. Some loud action. Short track racing for 45 laps in the Target Series. Drama-filled race at Bristol. Tempers are flaring after that. Will there be some payback here tonight? We're about to find out. After 45 laps, Larker on pole. Bullet 2 is outside into the restart zone. We're racing here in the Nike 300. Bolin with the racetrack in the 74. Larker gets clear and will lead. Lap number one, they're three wide behind, but Larker does lead lap one. Roach is coming by in the 01. Here comes, is that the 19 car of Jake Galloway to the bottom lane as Roach is going for the race leads. They come off turn number two. Down the back stretch, can't really get there to Larker, but right on his tail in case that 51 does slip up with the racetrack like he has been doing. 51 looks a little bit tighter right now. He goes up the racetrack every corner. Roach is still on his back bumper. Galloway clears for third. Then you have Palampon, Bolin. There's Spurley to make his way up on the inside lane. Really want to be on the inside here at Iowa. The outside could hang tough at some points. We're definitely not going to be on the inside. For the race leader, Rocha side by side with Larker to turn number three. There's where, where's Galloway going. The 19's going to look all the way to the bottom lane. To the yellow line he goes. Three wide off of four for the race lead. They're going to keep it three wide all the way down the front stretch, aren't they? Can Galloway keep his nose on a Rocha and to turn one? He does. Drives it hard to the corner. Up the racetrack they go. Galloway trying to pin that old one at the track. And side by side, they go. 51 cleared. He's third. And Larker's going to be going right back for the race. Look at the move he does to the crossover. Back down to the bottom lane for Steve Larker. They're side by side to the stripe. Galloway leads. Larker, your post here, back to second. Orocha back to third. Riley's pretty to be in the top five. He's fourth. Four, fifth. Johnny Gardner in the 89. As Larker takes it from Jake Galloway once again. Larker back out front, but Galloway's not giving up just quite yet. Can we look at back to the inside as Larker goes up the track? 19 back below. Jake Galloway with a power move right there. But Larker once again leads by a nose. And that 19 car is down there. He's edging ahead to turn number one. He's going to get clear right there. Jake Galloway back out front. Larker, though, clears for second again. For third, Lawrence Pound upon the 39. Johnny Gardner behind him. And they have Bullen back on the inside. Hanley, there's Lehman and some others. Yeah, Hanley was in the middle of controversy last race at Bristol. Dominated, led 43 of the 45 laps from the pole. Ended up finishing in the second position behind Alex Stewart. After being tracked by the lap car of Sebastian Kulgan, then spinning him out. And uh, costing us a green flag finish there. And uh, right now Hanley running inside the top 10. Meanwhile, Kulgan, the lap car that he spun, is currently running 35th. Not the day that Kulgan was looking for. And then Code Luigi, the driver who might have been... The angriest after all that was said and done. He was just running, what, fifth or sixth, minding his own business, about to get a top ten. And then that happens in front. He gets involved, nowhere to go. He loses a ton of points and positions. He was definitely furious with both Hanley and Kuglan after this race, so, uh, after that race, so. Uh, <laughs> if it, he sees one of those drivers around on the racetrack, I would not be surprised to see maybe some bumping and banging with, uh, if any of those three are around each other. 
Hanley does grab fourth, though. He's definitely the highest of those drivers involved in the controversy last race. He's going to try and run down the front three. We've seen this as a theme in the Target Series here at Iowa in the past. They seem to get kind of spread out just a little bit, and the front few get away bound for the race lead, and then you have some big battles behind, and a caution could come out and really change it. We've seen that happen before. A late yellow comes out, changes it, and then the leaders start wrecking on the restart right here. 19th of the racetrack. Jake Gowan, Larker takes advantage. Pole sitters back to the front in the Nike 300. And Lawrence Pompon not letting those two get away. Whoa! Teammates back there, Lehman and Lloyd up the racetrack. Lloyd definitely set that three at the racetrack. And look at Bullen taking advantage of the little checkup that just happened right there. Three wide to the bottom lane. Aroch is back there. Here comes Bullen, though, inside of Hanley and Lehman. Yeah, three wide there. Gotta be careful with that as they come down the back stretch. See, from that angle, the 51 clears. Palampon clears for second. Galway is third. Lloyd is fourth. Bullen inside the top five now in the 74. He's come back up into contention. Look at Galway back for second. Right on the bumper of Palampon. They enter turn one. Down to the bottom lane he goes. He's side by side as they come off of turn number two. 19 car looks pretty strong. I don't know if he's as strong as the 51 of Larker. And then, ooh, almost a wreck there. He almost came up in front of Palapon. Luckily, that 39 checked up. It definitely cost him momentum. Guy was lucky he didn't get dumped there, though. Bowen now going to try and take advantage to get to that third position. He's up to fourth. He just passed Danny Lloyd. But Raspberry to poking his nose into the top 10 sixth. Johnny Gardner coming back up to the front. There's Alex Stewart, winner at Bristol. Here he comes trying to break his way into the top 10. He's currently in the 11th position, battling with it with Alexander Rowe. Those two in a side-by-side -side battle. But up front, it's all Steve Larker and Jake Galloway. They're 1-2 at the front. Third is a battle between Palampon, Bullen, Lloyd. Third, fourth, and fifth currently on the racetrack. And Bullen's going to take it for third. He clears down the backstretch. Palampon going to try and keep fourth right here, but Danny Lloyd looking to his bottom lane. 21 car. Here he goes. Danny Lloyd up to fourth now. He's up the front. We have Chevy, Toyota, Dodge, Chevy. Their first four looking for him. And don't see any Fords up towards the front. It, yeah, the Fords apparently struggling. The first one is back here. The double zero of Williams Hume back bound around 15th position. It's not the day to be a Ford driver here in the Target Series, but look at them making contact. Three wide. Nichols in the middle. Up top, the 24 Charles Robert. Down low, Williams Hume. They're all bound for about 13th position on the racetrack. And they're still three wide. Almost contact there. Nichols and Robert getting close. Keeping it straight, though. Up here, Bell, between Palampon and Bolin. That is for the third, fourth position. As up front, Galloway took it, and Larker's back to the inside. These two are going to be the ones that are going to be bound until the end. I can tell you that right now. They've been out front. They've been cruising along. It's been Larker that leads, and then a few laps later, Galloway will take it. But don't count on Danny Lloyd and third. He's catching these front two because of their battles. You know, Lloyd and Galloway are pretty good friends. It could see those two try and break away and get one, two. Over Steve Larker. We'll see, though. Galloway looking to the inside again into turn one. 51 at the racetrack. Once again, Larker goes high. Galloway to the bottom lane. Down the back stretch. They're still side by side. Oh, close there. Almost rubbing. Look at Lloyd on the bottom lane. Going to try to take advantage right here. They're still making contact up top. Still beating and banging. Galloway leads by half a car length. Lloyd to the bottom lane. Three wide. Oh, that's close right there. So close hard short track racing. Look at the run for the 21 down the back stretch. Pulls even. They're side by side. Look at Riley Spurley, to Lawrence Palpine, Bullen trying to get into this three car mess at the front. Lloyd back by now. He's going to lead. But Larker back to the inside of the 51. He's up to second. 26 laps to go in the Nike 300. They're racing like it's five laps to go. That's how crazy they are. Larker back out front, your pole sitter. Lloyd going to try and keep second. He's out in the top side of those. Galway looks to his inside. Spurley Tube is now fourth. Bullen fifth. Palapon sixth. It's a sixth car breakaway at the front. Seventh place right now is Alexander Rowe. Arocha is eighth. Hanley ninth. Lehman tenth. Seeming up to 11th now in the double zero car. See the big separation here. Look at oh, all these drivers. Eli Bright's on the apron. I don't know if that was intentional or if something happened to that 88 car. There's Alex Stewart there in the 46. Looks like he may have some damage. He may have been put in the wall at some point. Yeah, he... Definitely hit the wall pretty hard. You can see some skin marks there, so it may have been Alex Stewart in the wall. Look at that nose damage. Definitely affected him. Another car had side damage. So I'll have to see what happened. Either if there's a caution in this race or at the end of the race, I'll have to see what happened to Alex Stewart, last race winner. 
So Jake Galloway just got right back by Larker, but here comes Larker trying to get right back by Galloway. Some great racing on the front. Larker leads another lap. We're about halfway through the race now. We got 23 laps to go, 22 and a half, as they come down the back stretch. Larker leads at the battle for second between Galloway and Lloyd. They're second and third right now. Spurley to his fourth, Bull in fifth. At the front, it's a 10 car breakaway. 11th is Seaman, 12th Robert. On back there, it's a big gaggle of cars. You see all these cars back here battling for positions. As Gardner has some contact. So remember, Gardner and Stewart were up inside the top 10. They're both falling back with damage. Could be something to do with whatever happened off of turn number four right there. Google right now running 42nd, not the day he was looking forward to try and get up there in points. Look at this. Lloyd back to the inside of Larker now. Here comes Sproley to for third. Going to try and break up that front three that's been the front three for so long. 21 laps to go. Danny Lloyd, Steve Larker side by side for first. For third, Sproley to Galloway. Bullen back there. So is Palampon. Those six have pulled away from seventh to tenth, and then they pull away from the rest of the field. Sproley to for second on Larker now. If that 51 gets shuffled back any farther than he has been, Gonna be about the farthest back he's been all races. He's been about second or third or first every lap of this race. And now he's gonna be back outside of the top three, possibly. But there's a hole between the 78 and the 74. Can he get down there? He couldn't. He goes up the racetrack big time right there. And here comes Lillian Bullen digging hard in the bottom lane. They're trying to get by your pulls there, Steve Larker. But Larker got a great run off the top side right there. And when I mean great run, he got a great run. Bowling keeps it down to the bottom lane. He's going to be side-by-side side again. Door handle to door handle as they come off turn number two. Still side-by-side side for third. And those front two are not getting away even though they're side-by-side side battling. Still close. Beating and banging up at the front. Spurly to and loiter side-by-side. Riley Spurly Tube. Now out front. Danny Lloyd kicked back to second, but does he stay up top or can he get down to the bottom lane? He looks, he's looking for a crossover here. Spray 2 goes up the racetrack. Side by side, almost some contact there. Lloyd is back out front. And for a second, here comes Bullen in the 74. And Pound Pound looking underneath them both. For a second off the track, they go. Contact made. Three wide, Pound Pound goes to the bottom. Keeps his nose down there. They're still being a banging for a second. 16 laps to go this time by. Three wide for a second behind your race leader, Danny Lloyd. Some great racing at the front. A Rocha and Row have caught up to this battle now. Now they've settled down to double files. Bowling's now up top. Spray two fades back. Palampon to the bottom lane. 15 to go this time by. Lloyd, Palampon, Bullen, Spurly Tube, Larker, Galloway, A Rocha, Row. The eight cars have a shot right as of now. 9th, 10th, and 11th are up for grabs. Hanley, Lehman, and Seaman. Luigi 12th. Luke Rainey, 13th. How about Justin Knight in 14th? And some others back there. It's the battle for 12th, led by Luigi. Battle for 9th right there. And here's the battle for 1st. 8 cars. Blowing up the racetrack, falling backwards. The 51 back up inside the top 5. Steve Larker making the charge back up to the front. 14 laps to go. He wants to end it where he started. On the pole position. Palapon now to the inside of Danny Lloyd. Just going to keep battling, aren't they? This is going to be some great racing to the end. Does a yellow come out and shake it all up? Look at Larker. Look at three wide for the race lead. Lloyd up top. Crowded by Palampon. They're making some contact. Larker leads at the stripe now. Some great racing at the front. They're still side by side in turn number one. Lloyd and Palampon went at the racetrack. 21 falls back. He's going to be maybe outside the top five right here. Larker gets clear. Pulls away. Spurly Tube trying to go for a second right here. Jake Galloway in the 19. He's looking back to try and get up here. Galloway fell back. It didn't look like he was going to have a shot. But now he's back up in contention. He's going for a second three wide. As we're coming around to see 11 to go this time by. Larker, your pulls there, leads. Galloway, who's been right up there with him, dominating this race, is going for a second with Riley Spirit. But a roach out of nowhere is going for a top five. Alexander Roach trying to get up here and break into the top five. Bullen has fallen back, but he's back down the bottom lane trying to grab spots. And they got 9th, 10th, and 11th. Hanley, Seaman, and Lehman trying to catch up to those guys and making an 11-car battle at the front. Two cars break away. It's the same two that we've been talking about all race. Lorker and Galloway have been 1-2 for a majority of this race now. It's come down to them, coming to 10 to go. But will they stay 1-2? It's a big question. 
Can a Rocha get up there and spoil the party that these two have had? Can Roe get up here? Bullen, Lloyd. Lloyd's had a pretty strong car. Galloway catching that 51. This car looks a little bit faster as of now. There comes C9 to go this time by. Look at the run he has through three and four. He's hugging the kind of middle lower lane, the lower middle lane right there. And Lark is just a little bit higher and it's really land the 19 to get some clean air and get a faster lane around the corner. Here he looks to the inside one. But Larko took his line away. That was a great job there by that 51. Getting down in front of that 19. Getting the dirty air in the car. Making that 19 car tighter. He has to keep doing that if he wants to keep this race lead. But look at Galloway once again. A lane lower. Down the bottom lane. Digging hard. He's in that groove. We talk about it. To the inside. He's looking. Off into one. Side by side. Arrocha with him. Jake Galloway in the 19. Your new race leader in the Nike 300. Back out front. Arrocha trying to get up here and lead his first laps of the night. Here he comes. Here comes Alexander Roach trying to lead his first laps of the night. Three wide for a second behind Jake Galloway. Roach trying to get there. Couldn't get done. Gets tight. He goes up the racetrack. Larker might be able to get back to third right here. He can get clear of Arrocha, which he is. Try a crossover. But he stays high. Seems like that 51 likes the higher lane at this moment in the race. Don't know if that's going to help him get to victory lane, though. We have six laps to go. Galloway, Arrocha, 1-2. Larker is third. Bullen is fourth, going for third. Rowe is fifth, but Danny Lloyd is, is uh, attacking him for that top five spot. Spurly Tuba on back to Hanley, which is 11th, are in this pack. They have shot to gain positions all the way up to the race lead. But Jake Galloway is hugging that bottom line. He's loving it. He has five laps to go, and he'll be a winner in the Nike 300 at Iowa. Five laps left for Jake Galloway. He's cruising along. Arrocha goes up the racetrack. The L1 car just looks very tight right now. And he just cannot make up any ground that 19. Bowling in the 74. Going to try and get by that L1. See if they can have a shot at it. But Galloway doing a great job out front. He just has to make it now four more smooth laps. Just don't overdrive the corners. That's what I would be saying. Just don't overdrive the corners. You can see the L1's really overdriving the corners trying to get there. Look at Danny Loy come back. He's going for third on Bowling. I think Bowen's trying to be the good, guy, the good guy here and stay behind the L1, try and see if they can draft up to him. And in doing that, the 21's going to get by maybe both of them. Could be a Galway lloyd 1-2. There's only three laps left, and the gap is a pretty big gap, I must say. It's up to a little over half a second now. So Rocha goes way up the racetrack. Now, <coughs> oh, caution's out. That's going to be the race. That's it. It's over. Canto involved with Nichols, Gardner, and some others. And that will be the race. Coming back in front, Jake Galloway will see two to go in the yellow flag, and that's in Iowa. It's over. Jake Galloway has won the Nike 300 with Danny Lloyd in second. Dominating day by Galloway. I think he definitely had the best car here, along with Steve Larker, but he gets up front at the right time to win. They're still wrecking. Thomas is sideways under yellow. May have been trying to get back at someone here. I don't know. That's pretty interesting there. Now Lloyd trying to figure out where to go to get around him. This guy has already gotten around. He's coming to see the white flag. We'll stay with your race leaders. They're coming to get the white flag, and then we'll see the checkered flag. So one lap to go for Jake Galloway, and he'll be a winner here at Iowa. There it is. Three-fourths mile left for Jake Galloway to win here in the Nike 300, the 19 team. He's going to get a victory this season early on. And Danny Lloyd in second, you'd think, he's thinking, ah, oh, if that caution didn't come out, I could have tried to get up there and battle with my, my buddy there, Galloway, but... Looked like that 19 may have had it. He had a pretty good gap at the time. And I don't know, that 21, though, he was digging hard in the bottom lane. Could have definitely put on a show there, coming to three to go. Uh, a Roach in third, didn't really talk about him until the end. Larker in fourth, starting out pole. He definitely had a car capable enough to beat the 19. They're spurly to Bullen. How about Seaman up inside the top 10 here at the end? Palanpon, Rowe, Lehman rounds up the top 10. So they go through three and four. Could be Jake Galloway. As long as he can make it around. As long as nothing happens to the car. <laughs> when you're under caution here, you're not really thinking about, you know, oh, how, how, how can I lose it? You're thinking, how can the car lose it at this point? Well, blow an engine, blow a tire, uh, fuel pressure goes low, something wrong with the car. But Galloway's got it. Down the front stretch, you see the checkered flag getting close from here. Jake Galloway wins the Nike 300 here at Iowa. Great performance there by Galloway. Now we have two instances to see. We have to see what happened to Alex Stewart at the beginning, along with we think Johnny Gardner may have also been involved. 
And then we'll have to see what brought the caution to end the race. So let's see what happened to Stewart. So they're bound inside the top 10 of this on lap number 19. Stewart's up top three wide with Johnny Gardner in the middle. And Gardner overdrives the corner hard trying to clear right there. Gets up into Stewart. Puts them both in the wall right here. As Stewart gets in with and Stewart kind of finishes Gardner off into the wall. But then I'm assuming that the 89 may have tried to come off the wall right here and the 46 got back into him or something. Because I don't really see any nose damage there. I see some side damage. But I don't see where Stewart may have gotten the nose damage from. Unless he tried to pay Gardner back possibly. Contact there. Uh, Stewart's obviously mad at Gardner. Overdrives it up into Gardner. Rubbing each other. Oh yeah, that's what happened. Stewart was mad at Gardner and they got into the wall hard. And that's why Eli was on the apron. We saw the log jam why everyone was split up. Eli was on the apron. And so he kind of reacted to that happening up top of him. And I slowed him up. So that's how Stewart and Gardner got their big time damage. Now let's see how the yellow came out. I saw the seven was one of them involved and maybe some others as well. Basically what we saw with many of these crashes here in the target series at Iowa. Three wide, Kanto kind of comes up, crowds Nichols up into Anderson and around they go. So then 19 taking evasive action, or the 18 excuse me, Trey Rainey, Jay Jefferson going by. Here comes Gardner into it, he gets spun around. 14 gets hit by the 4. The 5 gets into it. I believe that was the 20 of Kukulon getting into it. 89 goes around. Great job. No one else hitting him. That's what ended the race. Big crash at the back. Nichols, first one to go around. Some classic short track racing there. Uh, not, you're not giving and taking. They were coming to 3 to go. They were not going to be uh, too fond of each other. They were not going to be letting off and giving each other those, those positions. Well, this helped Jake Galloway get to victory lane easier. He didn't have to worry about uh, Lloyd coming or not. Galloway just had to coast around. He wins it here in the Nike 300. So I'll go check the finisher results. Here are the finish results from the Nike 300 at Iowa. There was one caution flag for two laps there at the end, the one that ended it, and 13 lead change among two different drivers, or four different drivers, excuse me. And definitely, there were two dominant cars of the day. One of them won. Jake Galloway led 16 laps, started fifth. He ends up at victory lane over Danny Lode, who led nine, so he was, he was probably the third best car here tonight. He ends up second. A Rocha led a lap, he ends up third. Steve Larker started on pole. You know, he was probably the car that you think would win. He started on pole the 19, the most laps, but he ends up fourth, just could not get up there at the end. And Riley Spirou, two Browns at the top five. They have William Bolin in sixth. William Seaman makes way up to seventh. Lawrence Palpon eighth. Alexander Rowe in ninth. And Anthony Lehman rounds at the top ten. There is your top 20. TJ Henley, after the controversy he was in last race, oh, finishes 11th here today. Not too shabby for that season. There's a sixth season veteran. 21st to 40th right there. A lot of big names down here towards the bottom of the list. Jay Jefferson, Trey Rainey, Jennifer Buford. There's Jeff Bright, Matt Hamill, Colton Yo, Nichols, Gardner. Kukulon, Miller, Stewart, Burl, Canto, all down here. Burl and Canto, the only two to retire from damage. Let's now look at the point standings. Here are the points after Iowa, and Jonathan Buford keeps that points lead and extends it to 59 points over Lawrence Palampon, who is now second. Andrew Miller is still in the top. 10, he's third. Joey Trickle is fourth. And Eli Bright moves up to fifth after a decent run. Then you have Landon Lines in sixth. Danny Lloyd moves up to seventh after a second place finish. Williams he moves up to eighth. Arocha up to ninth. And Canto down to tenth. There's your top 20. Kukulon down to 11th. Jake Gowett that went up to 12th and into a wild card spot. Matt Hamill is the other wild card spot, but only three points over Adam McDowell. Drivers now starting to move up into spots. Try and get up here and get every point you can. We're still early on in the season, only six races down. A lot left until we make the chase. Anything can happen from here on out. And Jar's still trying to recover out of holes that they got themselves into at the beginning of the season. Code Luigi won them. He had two DNFs. He's up to 30th now, not where he wants to be. Obviously, Jay Jefferson, 33rd. Jeff Bright, Trey Rainier down here. Jennifer Beaver's 28th. Colton Yo, Bullen, Nichols, Bright, Robert, Knight, Hanley, Wong, Bauer, Sanders. Big names down here. Hanley has three of six DNFs. I think he has three DNFs the most of anyone. So we'll look ahead to the next race, which we get off the uh, the short tracks. We go to Chicago for the Sunoco 200. I'll see you guys then.